Huzzah! Another tutorial on Godot. Anyway, I've been looking at... Well, mainly I've been looking at variables and how they kind of interact. Especially how they're pointed to. Now, I've found something interesting with the dictionaries. I haven't really tried individual variables, but I usually use dictionaries for information, for data, for character data, world data, all that other stuff. It's nice and it's organized and it's really good if you want to have a save file. So what I did here was I created a couple dictionaries just to test some things out. And this is in a global singleton. That way, that way I could make sure that I could have global data which update. Now the interesting thing is, and I've learned this or have heard it a lot while using the Blender game engine. When you have a script with global data, you're supposed to use a function to get and set copies of that data. Now the interesting thing, interesting thing about Godot, especially in regards to dictionaries, is that you don't actually have to set that data. It's already automatically pointed to. Once you get it, assign it, you can modify it locally or from any other script and that data will automatically update the main data. Of course, there are some caveats and a few snacks. Now, I pretty much just started off giving them all five points in level health, defense, and attack. And I created a, nest, a nested dictionary and gave them all five points in each skill. Now, the interesting thing to note is that with a nested dictionary, as far as I know, You know what, I'm going to test this real quick. In my... Is that it? Nope. Maybe I'm not going to test it. Anyway, I haven't completely tested it, tested the nested dictionary. I do know that if you take a second dictionary and assign it directly a first dictionary, or Instead, you assign it each individual value from another dictionary. Instead of being a second copy of that dictionary, it will actually point to that dictionary. So anything you do to the first dictionary or the second dictionary will affect both dictionaries. Which is something to watch out for, especially if you want to do something easy like create one dictionary and produce a lot more from it, like if you create a template dictionary. However, I am pretty sure that if you can create a temporary dictionary in a function and then assign to that temporary dictionary 
then you go ahead and apply that temporary dictionary to both parts of the nested dictionary, it should act as two separate copies. So what I'm going to do is this real quick. I have a ton of print statements. So I'm constantly testing this out. Oh, good. We have another snack. It seems that if you create a temporary dictionary, and assign it, a bunch of values and then use it to assign it to two separate dictionaries. Those two separate dictionaries will point to the same data. And whatever you do to one will invariably copy over to the second one. So you cannot say Dictionary A equals Dictionary B, or Dictionary B equals Dictionary A, unless you want them to share the same data and both update if you modify one or the other. In other words, they'll both hold the same data regardless of what you do to either one. And anything you do to either one will copy over to the other. So if you are building your own dictionaries, regardless of whether it's global or local, you're going to want to assign individual values to the individual keys 
of the dictionary. Which is slightly annoying, but at least we're all now aware of it. Those few of you that watch my video. Now the interesting thing is, and you don't really need to go through a lot of this code. Most of it's print statements, and a lot of it's the same old, same old stuff with me. Getting a dictionary. Modifying its values. And then seeing if everything propagates. Now the thing is, if you say that variable level equals test D level, and then later on you say level equals 50, level will equal 50. The test dictionary level will still equal what it previously equaled. This is not, well it is technically an assignment, but it's more like you're overriding a variable with another value. However, if you say that your test dictionary level key equals level variable, then the test dictionary level key will equal the level value. And it doesn't matter where you got the dictionary. You can get the dictionary from a dictionary, from a dictionary, from a dictionary. No, not nested dictionaries. I'm talking about Dictionary A equals all these key value pairs. Dictionary B equals dictionary A. Dictionary C equals dictionary B. And so on. And then you grab dictionary D equals your global data dot get dictionary. And anything you do to that will propagate all the way up to all the rest. Now here's an interesting thing. You can set metadata. Everyone knows that. But you can give it a dictionary from a global singleton or I'm pretty sure from a local script or from within whatever script you're using. Modify the individual values. Yes, get meta, meta1, dictionary key equals value does work. And it will equal 60. So we go up here. We can see that it does indeed equal 60. If I can zoom in. No, I can't. zoom into here. And then if you print the meta, it'll say everything equals what it's supposed to be, but if you print the original dictionary, which I did up here, at the top, then it'll also read that the changes have propagated. You can also get a test dictionary that you've copied from the that you've assigned the global dictionary and assign it to a metadata and any changes you add to them due to the metadata dictionary will go all the way back to the global dictionary which means that if you're using dictionaries and you get it from somewhere and you assign it to the metadata of whatever object you have, you have, and then you modify that metadata, it'll automatically be set to the global dictionary. Because instead of getting a copy, it gets a reference points to where that data is, which is actually pretty good because then you don't have to write any kind of code to reassign that data to the global dictionary. You just get it, set it, 
forget it and modify it however you want. Which is really good if you have characters with health and defense. And you want to make sure that a character that's knocked out stays knocked out. For example, if you have a game where you have a bunch of party members, they're all assigned in dictionaries. And then you get the data, the dictionaries, and you assign them to the metadata. And then you modify the metadata. You don't have to set the data back, which was something that was annoying in Blender, because every time I got the data, I believe I had to use some kind of script to set it back to the global data every so often. But now I don't have to do that since since Godot basically references dictionaries. It pretty much updates the data in real time. Which is just something I wanted to test and go through to make sure I knew how exactly the dictionaries went and worked. That way I don't have to write a whole bunch of scripts to, or a whole bunch of functions to set the data back when the character gets knocked out. When the character gets knocked out, it's knocked out. And I don't have to worry about that. I just get the data, assign it where I need it to go, and I can have several other objects working on it if I wanted to. Although, I'd advise against having more than one object modifying a dictionary's data at a time. It's perfectly fine to assign it to the metadata of whatever character is out or is battling, but you don't want to assign the dictionary data to numerous characters. I mean, it might be okay, but I'm still warning against it unless you absolutely have to. Like, for example, you have a whole bunch of androids, and their energy is their health, and they all share the same stats, and they all share the same energy. That might be fine, but usually not necessary. Now, I tested this out for a lot of reasons. First of all, for the game that I'm working on called Adventures Edge. Of course, I had another project open, so I went ahead and did it in that other project. But hopefully this has helped you, even if it may have been a little bit confusing. In a short summary, you can pretty much just well, in a short summary, dictionaries are reference, not copy. Hopefully this has helped you, and if it has, please think about subscribing, or, get, or leaving a like, or even vi visiting my Patreon. Thank you.